Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and uh, just thought I'd go over my recording setup. And uh, to record my gameplay footage, I use the HD PVR2, which is right here. It's uh, flashing because that's all it ever does. And uh, I use that to record all my consoles that I do gameplay footage of. Mostly the, P the PlayStation 2. If you want to come over here. My fiance is uh, holding the camera. But uh, to set up my PS2, I have the composite cable. Well, actually, it's a component cable. That's the one with the five wires, I think. But uh, it goes over into the PBR back here. Has little component cable inputs, has a little adapter. Technically, it's designed for a PlayStation 3 to get around the copy protection in it, but it works just as well with a PlayStation 2. And uh, now that just gets it into the PVR, so obviously I need to be able to see it on the TV. So the PVR has a HDMI output, which is this last one here, and that goes into the TV, obviously. I have two HDMI uh, inputs in the TV and uh, there's also a USB on the PVR that connects into the PC which is this is my lovely computer right here it's plugged in behind it and, and uh, when I record PlayStation 3 or the, th the 360 that requires me to use a HDMI splitter uh, mainly to get around the copyright protection of the PlayStation 3 it has a lockout chip or something that prevents you from copying gameplay footage yeah Sony was stupid <laughs> but uh, the PlayStation 3 has an HDMI cable that I don't think you're gonna be able to see this but it's, I think it's this thing and yeah, it I think that's goes, it. Yeah, it comes out into into the splitter. Sorry, <laughs> this is the HDMI splitter. Got it around like I think five bucks on Amazon, and uh, it has two outputs on it. One of them goes to the TV, and then the other one goes into the PVR to uh, well, be able to record. The only thing that sucks about the PVR and the splitter together is that they both require their own AC adapters. So I have to have both of them powered individually. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I can also record with the Wii using the same setup I used by my uh, PlayStation 2. As for what I record the commentary with, got a Turtle Beach PX21. I look like a badass with it. No, not really, but he gets the job done. For co-op LPs, I'm going to be recording with the Blue Yeti microphone. It has better quality than the Blue Snowball, which I used to use. And uh, I have a little USB extension thing here. Uh, the only reason I have that is because the microphone will probably not reach this far back. So, that's just for convenience sake. Sorry, I actually kind of forgot something important uh, before I finish the video. The, uh, the recording program records like three seconds behind. So, if I listen to the audio from that, it's going to be really weird for me. So, that requires me to listen to the audio from the TV. But you can't have the TV audio on because the microphone will pick it up. So, to get around that... Uh, where is it? Over here. This has a little audio output thing, and uh, I have a, I bought a little adapter that plugs in there. And oh, where the hell is it? That's the microphone. Oh, right here. Got a bit earphones that plug into that thing. So when I record, I can listen to the audio of the TV 
Uh, the only problem is, is that you have to have a volume slider or it's just going to blast into your ear at maximum volume because the TV volume does nothing. And it is not pleasant. No, it is not. Uh, unfortunately, it also means I get to do this. And this oh, so is you not put those in your so you put the earbuds in your ears and the headphones. Yes, and I do it upside down because that's more comfortable. That's retarded. Yes, I know it is, but that's the only way I can. I mean, I could just go without listening to audio, but that's kind of weird. It makes it harder for me to comment on things. The timing so, would be weird, yeah. This is what I uh, this is what I do. If I put them in right side up, it hurts like hell. <laughs> but yeah. That's what I have to do. Yeah. I have a couple of wooden tables over here. So when I'm recording, at least by myself, I have that set up there. Chair here. And my laptop here because it has my notes on it. Now I have to put it all away, of course. As for the programs that I use, uh, the PBR came with, uh, it came with its own recording software, works well enough, you have to mess with some settings, but I got it to work. And uh, for recording the commentary, I use uh, Audacity, it's an open source program, pretty easy to get. It also lets me edit my commentary. I think that's about it. Uh, if you guys want, I can make a video where I'll show my programs that I use on my PC. I'll just record with the Camp Studio. Let me know. But uh, that's pretty much the gist of my, my recording setup. So uh, yeah, I'll end it here. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care everyone.